I know I'm a I know I'm a little late on this subject, but like um I just wanted to point out that uh feigning spell that uh Wendy had last week around Thursday. And for, for those who who follow me who wonder why I didn't do a video then, uh, I I just didn't one I didn't feel like it. Number two, uh uh I didn't feel the need to. Number three, I was busy doing other stuff. I don't like 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 I said, but like I said multiple times, I don't live on I don't live on social media. I don't live on YouTube. I mean, I do have a life outside of YouTube. I also have a job. A nine to five. Well, anyways, uh, when I saw that video of a uh, Wendy uh, uh, becoming discombobulated, and then she uh, she lost her faint, and she lost her um, she uh, she lost her balance, and then she collapsed. That 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 right there that right there shows what, what's what's to come. Okay, that right there was actually a, her body giving her a warning. I'm not cursing her or nothing. That that's that's a um that that's that's what's to come due to the fact like she's 50, Wendy Williams is fifty three years old like uh when when you uh, start to get up in age your body goes through these different changes but like if you've done things to your body that you did in your earlier years and you you uh you assume that it had no effect on you or what you were or what was gonna uh but you assume that it, you are you good it's okay it's not gonna kill me let me live my life. And like um, don't tell me what to do. I, if I want to smoke and drink like there's no tomorrow, I'll do it. I'll go ahead and do that. If I want to snort some can cocaine, shoot up some heroin, or pop a few pills, let me do that. Like it might it might not affect you now. It might not make you over the overdose, but like gradually as time as, as time progresses, uh, it will affect your body. Like people who smoke all the time, who smoke for 20, 30 years, and like choose not to quit. Sooner or later, your body is your body's gonna shut down. Or like if you like if you did drugs, like if you if you did hard drugs like crack cocaine and heroin uh, in your earlier years, but like you might have done it for like uh, five, ten years, and then you quit cold turkey, or you and then go back and then quit and cold turkey, and then come and then quit again and, and again and again, and then quit permanently, and but then like uh, you live you live all those years sober and clean. But guess what? Like th the damage that you did to your body during those times is going to come back to haunt you. Wendy Williams, back in the '90s, she used to she used to be on crack coke. She used to smoke crack real bad. She used to sm crack, uh, smoke crack cocaine real bad. Matter of fact, when she was on she, when she was doing her radio thing, she uh I think she lost uh, uh she got fired from one of one of her radio jobs because she couldn't she couldn't stay uh, stop smoking crack. It took up, it took like took up like ninety percent of her free time, uh, when she when she was addicted to crack cocaine and she was smoking crack all the time back in the nineties. Hell, it it even caught, uh, it, it even it even made her have a few miscarriages. Yeah, like uh, she she uh, she had miscarriages due to uh, due to her uh, drug abuse. Well, uh, a lot of women don't, don't know or don't realize is that when uh, when you do drugs and you pollute your body with the, with those toxic those toxic chemicals, it pollutes your womb and it it corrupts your it, it corrupts your reproductive system. It causes you to uh, uh, to have a miscarriage, or if the or if you're lucky to have have a baby that's born, it'll it'll be addicted to drugs or it have it'll have something some type of birth defect. Like some people, like uh, that that uh, that famous girl didn't, didn't look like a famous girl because she she blamed her thick clothes. She blamed her thick clothes. Her thick costume at the time uh, for her fainting spell, but like that looked like a mini stroke. And she said, "I'm not stroking out. I'm gonna keep the job for a long time." Yeah, you may have the job for a certain period of time. At that time that you're on this borrowed time, you're up there at advanced age. You did that damage to your body. Guess what? Guess what? The uh, the uh, the Grim Reaper soon soon gonna come and pay his due. I'm not saying. That she's gonna die and drop dead, but like when you damage your body with certain things, and you you uh put you partake in such a drug activity, and you you uh you corrupt your uh, your system with chemical uh man-made chemicals, things like that will happen. Even when you get to an age, that's why a lot of drug drug users, uh, and former drug users be dropping dead around 55, 60 years old. Because they let their body go go through that type of abuse, but that that is kind of messed up what happened with Wendy Williams. Even though do I do I feel this is karma for her always uh, talking talking smack about people 
Yeah, in a way it is, and it isn't. It, it could be a combination of things. Well, like that, that's how it is sometimes. Oh, that's how that's that, that's that's how that's what's destined to be. 